Today we're going to talk about short value and long value for words their way. We're on sort 8. You should already have your words cut out with your number on the back of each word. Also make sure you have your word sort mat ready to go. Let's talk about our short value and long value today. First of all, we're going to start with our short value in the word cup. Well, we notice that cup has a consonant plus a vowel plus a consonant. In short value makes the a uh sound. Our next example is the word tube. And tube is spelled T-U-B-E. And in tube which makes the long U sound and it says its own name, U, we have a consonant, value, a consonant with the E at the end, which makes the U long. Well, let's look at the two examples we have. We have a nut. And nut makes the short value U sound, and it has a consonant, vowel, consonant in nut, which makes it our short value. Then we have another picture example. We have a mule. And we notice that the U in mule says its own name. And mule is M-U-L-E. And we have a vowel plus a consonant followed by an E, which makes the U say its own name. Now we're going to look at some more examples of the words you cut out today for short U and long U, as well as our oddball words. Well, we already talked about the short value making the U uh sound in words where we have a consonant plus a vowel plus a consonant. We talked about the long value, which says U, where we have our words that are going to have a consonant vowel, consonant, followed by an E. Now remember our oddball words over here are the words we have that have a consonant vowel consonant pattern and they have a consonant U consonant E but they don't say the U uh sound or they don't say the U sound and that's what makes them an oddball word. Okay. Make sure you have your word sort mat out and ready to go. Remember not to write on your word sort mat, but just find your word sort cards to put under the correct word pattern, either short value, long value, or our oddball words. We're going to start first with our short value. And as you recall, our short value words make the a uh sound, plus there are words that are going to have a consonant, plus a vowel, plus a consonant in them. And then when we talk about our long value words, where the U says U, we're going to have words that have our consonant, vowel, a consonant, followed by an E in the pattern. And remember our oddball words, mm, they're going to have a consonant, vowel, consonant, or a consonant, vowel, consonant, E in them, but instead of making the U uh or the U sound, they make a different vowel sound. Let's do an example. Let's take the word cut. Well, find your word card cut and place it under the short value because we know it makes the a uh sound. Plus, when we look at the word cut, we have our consonant, our vowel, which is U, followed by a consonant. I cut my hair this weekend. Now, let's do long value. Find the word huge. And huge, you're going to place under the long U pattern. And huge is spelled H-U-G-E. I had a huge piece of cake yesterday at the birthday party. Well, in the word huge, we have a consonant. U, which is our vowel, consonant, followed by an E in the pattern. 
And when we say huge out loud, we hear the U say its own name. Let's look at our oddball column. Well, as you have your words out and you're looking at them, you're going to notice the word put. Put is spelt P-U-T. Hmm, but you're going to say, well, I see a consonant, our vowel U, plus our consonant, consonant in the pattern. But when I say put out loud and I read it, I don't hear the uh sound. So I know I'm going to have to put it in the oddball column because it doesn't make the short value sound. It's really important as you sort your words to say them out loud and make sure you're listening to see if you hear the uh sound or the u sound. Let's do one more under each. Uh, let's find the word hunt and put your word sort card either under the long u or the short u. Hunt. Well, if you listen to the sound, you hear the uh sound, so we know that hunt is going to be short value. And then when we look at the word pattern, we notice consonant, vowel, plus a consonant to make the word hunt short u. Okay, let's do one more long u. Let's do the word rude. The lady at the grocery store was extremely rude to me. Well, we hear the long U sound in the U say its own name. So in rude, we have our consonant, our vowel, which is U, a consonant followed by an E. And when we read it aloud, rude, you hear the U say its own name. Now you need to stop the recording Take your word cards and put them either under short value, long value, or perhaps they're an oddball word and you need to put them under the oddball category. Read your words aloud as you're sorting them. Once you're done sorting all of your words, go ahead and start the recording again. Okay, now let's check to see your word sort patterns for short value and long u. Well, when we look under our short value words, where we have our consonant, vowel, consonant, U, we're listening for the uh sound. And under short value, you should have placed the words bus, cut, plus, just, drum, jump, hunt, shut, such, and club. When we look under our long U words with our consonant vowel consonant E pattern, you have the words cube, mule, huge, cute, tune, june, rude, flute, and use. And this week you only have one oddball word that we've already previously talked about which is the word put. Now what you're going to do is you're going to get out your planners and you're going to write your short U and long U words in your planners. So what you're going to do first is you're going to write long U and then you're going to write consonant, vowel, consonant and you're going to write all of your short value words below it. After you've done your short value words, you're going to do your long U pattern with your consonant, vowel, consonant, E words and then write them below. And last but not least, you're going to write oddball and write that one oddball word put. Make sure you do your best work and use your best handwriting.